soap, the, about the soap you brought, just make sure that you pass the exam. It is important that you pass it because you are for your student visa after the admission they've given you. <laughs> welcome and welcome back again to my youtube channel i am very appreciative to you guys for following me and taking me to 200 followers i appreciate you a lot i am very grateful i am very excited 4,000 views wow thank you so much if you're a new following you just found this page all i do on my page is speak about brazil show you an average family an average lady living in brazil how to survive brazil in general terms and how to make friends how to do um, how to study and how to relocate as a tourist so on today's episode if that is what you like kindly subscribe like follow calm down kindly subscribe like share and turn on notification don't forget to comment too thank you very much so on today's episode i will be answering the third question which says can hnd or ond apply to study in brazil don't forget our book so <laughs> so um i have made my research i took some that i took some time to um reply this question because i want to give full information that are complete and not wrong information to mislead the general public so after making my research i found out that hnd and ond um so after making my research with my original plug, my direct plug, original source, um, I was told that yes, HND and OND, they can apply to further their education in masters and PhD in Brazil. So what are the steps you need to take? You only need to follow the old steps that every other BSc graduates are following. What are these steps? I'm going to re- Say them on this video. Number one is to write the self papers exam. Where can you write the self papers exam? In Lasso, Lagos State University, or OAU, Obafemi Aoluwa University. Lasso. After my research, I heard that they take one twenty thousand for six months to train you and write the exam, and OAU take one ninety thousand to train you for six months and to write the self papers exam. So your choice and your location will determine what or which school you're going to go to learn and write the separate exam. So after writing the separate exam, you've passed, you've seen your results, then you further and go to the university. Sorry, you go online, you search for the university you'd like to go to. For example, University of Rio de Janeiro. You look for the courses you'd like to study that they have in the master's section there. Or oh, I'd like to study, um, obviously it has to be something that you studied in the past because you cannot just study um, um, kinetic in, um, or in um, HND or OND or biochemistry and then all of a sudden you want to come and do master's in medicine. No. It has to be something you are in line with or something that doesn't look too far away or a general course do you get so you're going to look for masters in probably your kinetic or masters in your biochemistry or masters masters in the course or in that line or in that department that you want to study so afterwards you speak to um, you 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 check the website after checking the website you will see the list of professors there you see the dean their numbers their emails you can send them an email because the phone number might be hard to send so send them an email after send them an email you explain to them in portuguese please you explain to them if you don't there's no problem you can use google translate or deep l it's an app to translate languages for you so you can um what's the word you can send them an email after sending them an email tell them your proposed topic what you what you um have in plans to to solve you know, you did projects in undergraduate and HND and OND. I'm sure you did um, um, project and project traffic and defense. So it's the same thing. You tell them it's just different from Nigeria where you is until final year. You are 
you are going to start telling them about your project or project topic. No, this place is from the beginning. In Brazil, federal universities, from the beginning, you have to have your project topic and what you intend to solve with the project topic. When they say what you intend to solve, it's like, okay, I want to, in this topic, in this thesis, in this project that I want to write, I want to write the problems of Africans or I want to write the problems of people speaking Yoruba and how I think or how I propose to solve it with this article that I am about to write. So that is what you're going to tell them. This is my proposed topic. You're going to have like three proposed topics. You just speak to your professor. I don't know about that. You're supposed to have three proposed topics. Your professor will speak to you back to back and then you guys will choose one and go ahead with it. After they have chosen that, they're going to, um, your self-report exam results comes out and you've passed. You can tell the professor about it because you already found a familiar ground with the professor. Afterwards, you and the um, professor, he can advise you to move to the embassy. Show them your certificate of self preparation exam that you passed and apply for your student visa after the admission they've given you. And don't forget Come that on. this passing of this uh, self is very important because there is an uh, uh, educational program exchange between Brazil and all over the world. Everybody, every other country enjoy it. I don't know whether Nigeria knows about this. Just as a certificate, you are coming here to study without being Okay, so the, about the self preparers, just make sure that you pass the exam. It is important that you pass it because you are not, the, they are not looking for students. Brazil is not looking for students. Students are looking for them. So this program happens all over the world. I'm not, I don't know why Nigeria is the only one that doesn't know much about it. It's a world program. US, Australia, people from different continents are coming here to study for free. So I don't know why it's not rampant in Nigeria or Africa generally. So if you can make sure that you pass this exam, you are coming here to study for free. Your master's, your PhD. Sometimes you even get paid if you keep a good record, a good, a good distinction. You're getting B's, A's, even one C or one B there about. So you're going to get paid per month and all. So make sure you pass your self preparation exam. Study well for it. It is not a joke. Come and study for free. Come and get paid for free. Why going to school? Okay, so for further inquiries, if you want to know more about all the things I've said, kindly go to the Nigerian Brazilian embassy or if you're anywhere in the world watching this video go to the brazilian consulate in your country thank you guys for watching again i love you thank you so much see you in the next video ciao